Hello, my name is Jim and I'm a respiratory therapist. I just want to do a quick demonstration on how to secure an endotracheal tube. Um, this patient has just recently been intubated. I wanted to show you with, when you're inflating the cuff with the syringe that you would inflate the cuff while somebody was securing the tube at the same time and then do not leave the syringe on the cuff because if you do it will actually deflate by itself. So you would inflate the cuff, remove the syringe, somebody would be holding the tube in place and then if you have a twill tape, I just take a regular twill tie, make it about two arms lengths, fold it in half and then you would with it folded take the loop around the endotracheal tube and pull the two ends through that loop that you made. Then you take the two ends and just tighten up the loop so that the fold of the twill tie is on the top and then you're going to take the two ends and pull them apart. So one is going to go to the right and one to the left and then you're going to bring them underneath of the endotracheal tube and do a simple knot on the bottom of the tube pulling the two ends so that that's tight and that will prevent the tube from sliding up and down and then you would bring the ties around the neck and secure with a simple knot on the side of the face right where the jaw line is. If you needed somebody could hold their finger there to keep the knot from untying while you've made a double knot. And that will prevent the endotracheal tube from dislodging, keeping it in the spot. Then you would double check the number that you have there and just realize that this is actually going around the neck. So if you were had a commercial device that actually glues on the face and secures it better, that would often be done subsequent to the chest x-ray after you've proved that the tube's in the right position. This is a good initial setup for securing the endotracheal tube so that you can release it and um, have your hands free to do other, other connections to the endotracheal tube. This is a very good way to secure the endotracheal tube if you don't have a commercial device. It's very simple to do and it works very well. As long as you pull the two sides of the twill tie tight enough, it will actually stop the tube from sliding up and down. And we've used this for many years. Uh, it hasn't failed us and it's cheap and easy to do.